Hi, my name is Nathan Bloss. I am a technical support engineer with Go Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to add weld beads to an assembly as well as drawings. First thing we're going to do is let's take a look. We're going to add some weld beads down here. Uh, the weld beads feature is located inside of assembly features. We have to select our two faces. There we go. And this time we're just going to create a standard weld bead. It goes to the length of the contact between the two faces. We can uh, clarify the radius of the weld bead. Let's do four. Accept that. And as you can see, we have a black weld bead added to our assembly here. Let's add another one. This time let's control the start point and the total length. You can change it with the numbers in the menu there, or you can drag and drop the arrows. There we go. Let's try one more right here. Select our faces, and this time we're gonna do an intermittent. There are two options to do intermittent welds. A gap and weld, which is measuring just the gap, or a pitch and weld, which measures the weld length plus the gap, and the distance is calculated from the center from one weld bead to the other. Let's accept that. As you can see, they're intermittent between the welds. Let's try adding a weld in another area here. Let's add one to the side. As you can see, it is a sub-assembly within the main level assembly. Let's add a weld bead between these two bars here. As you can see, we cannot add welds inside of a sub-assembly in the top level assembly. Weld beads can only be added at the top level assembly. Let's open that sub-assembly and let's add our welds here. Click the two faces. Now there are two a couple options we can do to select the path our weld will take. We can select the path by clicking the different lines right here. There we go. And we can accept that. Or if we go over here, we can add another weld bead. Select our two faces, and we can tell it to be on both sides of the weld, so it adds it on either side. Or we can say all around, and this will add a weld bead all around the member. We can also st stagger these and make them intermittent as well. As you can see, we have two weld beads here on either side, and they are staggered. That's it for the assembly. And then here we have our assembly in a drawing. You can add weld bead symbols by going to the model items, selecting the caterpillar, as well as the weld bead symbol. If we click and we add those, it brings in the pre-made weld marks, and that's how you add them. This has been Nathan Bloss with Go Engineer. Have a nice day.